Tomorrow is October the 4th, and due to a terrible pun in Japanese, it's Investment Day. That's the day that the Japan Securities Dealers Association have chosen as the one they want to use to promote the idea that people should be moving their savings, their bank deposits, out of those bank deposits and into the stock market. Now, if you had done this when Investment Day was first invented as a concept 20 years ago, you'd be down 16% if you put it all into the topics. If you'd done it 10 years after that, in 2006, you'd be down 18%. So it's not a resounding record of success. But this year, there is a kind of structural reason that Investment Day should be attractive to Japanese retail investors. There's been the Corporate Governance Code in place now for more than a year, and it's created a record, back-to-back -back record years of share buybacks. And it's also promoted the idea that uh, activism is no longer activism, it's just a conversation with the companies. The problem is that one of the big ideas behind the Corporate Governance Code was that it would accelerate the unwinding of the cross shareholdings that permeate the whole of corporate Japan and create these strange historic links between companies that many would like to see gone forever. Now that has been unwinding for many years, but the pace is not what everyone would like to see. Last week, two of the big Coca-Cola bottling companies in Japan, Coca-Cola West and Coca-Cola East, did a merger, and that's going to be a big bellwether of just how serious corporate Japan is about unwinding these cross shareholdings. Coca-Cola West Japan has a 15% stake held in it by Rico, a photocopier maker. Now that's quite strange by all accounts. If we see that unwinding between now and the end of the financial year on March the 30th, then maybe, just maybe, investment day might have some meaning.